So welcome after a small time. We have installed everything. The doorbell works again. And uh, we have now Home Assistant and Mycroft and uh, Node-RED integrated into one beautiful thing. And we want to show you how this works. So let's get started. Hey, Mycroft, turn on all lights. There you go. All lights are okay, on. Done. So if you now look here at the light switches, that was what we were doing in the beginning. We can just normally turn off specific lights. I think here we can actually see that some of the uh, halogen lights behind us can be turned off. It's still chaotic as before, so let's, uh, it's nicer if we actually use the phone and then we can control different lights. So let's, for example, take our uh, living room dining table here and we can now turn off the ceiling light, turn it on, or we can turn off everything here in the dining table area and then this is off. But of course, we can turn it on again. You can say, hey, Mycroft, turn on dining table. And there we are again. So this is all configurable with Node-RED, what should actually happen and which lights should be switched on. In addition, I have some swipe gestures on these uh, capacitive switches. So if you swipe up or swipe down, I can connect some actions to it. So the nice thing is actually if I leave the house and so if I would be going, then I can say turn everything off and you see all the lights in the apartment are turning off. So as it's a little later now and we are now in the testing stage, I also have some visitors and friends over who have to suffer through all this lights setup and light testing, and I left them in darkness at the moment. Hey, Uli. <laughs> this is Mark and Paula, and I will give them now some light. So let's switch on some cozy lights for them and the small wall lights. And we could actually also do the media system lights back there. I hope you like that. Perfect. Very nice. Here are my little wall panels I use to replace the light switches and do the control. So I built a GUI in Node-RED and I made the panel so that it usually sleeps, but you can just wake it up with a touch. So now there you see the GUI. And at the moment the light is on up here. So I will, you can just toggle between the lights here. So if I click this, the light goes off and I'll click it again, the light is on again. You see it's even via Wi-Fi, it's a pretty snappy reaction. So, and as these are Philips Hue lights, we can dim them. So I can left touch next to it and they go dimmer. And also the button goes dimmer. So I build it this way that the button, if it's off, it's just like the background. So now the lights are off. Again, I just dimmed them off. If I go a little bit up, you will see that the color of the button changes and becomes more brighter. And should I have a take in the living room? And so I switch to the reading place here. And so I now can switch it on all there. And you see everything lights up. And now if you look there, the lights are on over there. So keep it there, I will switch it all off. And after a while, this panel jumps back. I think it's set for two minutes and then goes back to the original one. One special wish my wife had was that she didn't have to warm up her coffee machine uh, in the morning anymore because it's kind of a bit we have a nice semi-automatic here it's a little bit of a process to make your right coffee in the morning i just drink tea and so i thought it would be also nice if i could just have my water warm just right after getting up so i put a smart switch back there in the corner so i can for demonstration purposes now switch it on see now both the light from the coffee machine and from the tea are on in the tea, uh, tea kettle will very soon start boiling the water. 
Hey, Mycroft, turn dining table lights on. Okay, done.